Hi everybody. Uh, I know we are a global family on this channel because I can tell by all the uh, messages that I get sent back, all the comments, that I'm talking to people from everywhere from Afghanistan to Auckland to uh, Reykjavik to Tokyo. And uh, I think that's really pretty fabulous. I, I love the internet for that quality of being a global community. And uh, it brings us all a lot closer together. And it also makes you realize how similar everybody is um, to each other. Uh, in the States today, it's Memorial Day. So this is where we pay respect to all of the people from past conflicts who sacrificed fully with their lives, men and women, and and dogs, dogs, dogs. A lot of a lot of war dogs and horses uh, lost their lives, and they were all all commissioned. Um, but it's a it's a somber day, um, and uh, I know my dad was uh, in the service, and uh, I think about you know what he went through as a as a young man. I mean, he was a kid when he went into the Marines, and and it was. Uh, it's incredible. I never talked about it. Most of those people from World War II um, speak very little of it. It's, it was just something that they did and to do. So I'm just giving a shout out today to um, to everybody who's who served and sacrificed, and to all of their families who have had to bear the uh, the memory and the brunt of the loss through all of this. Um, so. Now on an upper note, um, I've been getting all kinds of messages going, man, are, are you ever going to do any Toto? And uh, so I thought today I'll start the week off with Toto. Um, I did two tours with Toto. Uh, the first one, uh, they were two different lineups in the band too. Um, the first tour I did with them, which must have been around 2012 or somewhere around there. His memory fails me on that one. Um, it was Luke, of course. You know, without Steve Luke, there there really is no no Toto. Um, but it was it was it was Lukather and Greg Fillingaines, <laughs> monstrous Greg Fillingaines, on keyboards. Um, Lenny Castro, Simon Phillips, the remarkable Simon Phillips on drums. Tony Spinner on guitar, and um, and Bobby Kimball uh, singing. I think that was the lineup on that tour. I don't think I'm leaving anybody out. But the song I'm going to play today was from my second bout with, with Toto. Um, the reason I ended up playing with Toto was um, Mike Picaro became ill. And there was a lot of talk about what was going on with Mike and speculation. Uh, and they were trying to downplay it until they got proper diagnoses and all that, because there was an element where there was, there was thought that it could have been lupus or some kind of, you know, weird disease. But he was having issues with his hands, his motor skills. And then it was, it was finally fully diagnosed as ALS, um, Lou Gehrig's disease, which was just, you know, the kind of the worst thing you could be told. Um, uh, and um, so I was in the studio doing one of, I think, um, maybe ever-changing times, um, but I was doing one of Luke's projects. And he took me aside and he said, look it, um, we've got a lot of tour left to go and Mikey really can't do it. He can't cut it anymore. It's just too hard for him. He's taping his hands up and doing the best he possibly can, but it's just really arduous for him. And he said, Mike wanted me to check with you and see if you'd be willing to take over for the band, you know, that seat. And he said, we're leaving for Dubai, for the Dubai Jazz Festival, like in a week. And uh, if you think you could do it, you know, it would be fabulous. And, and Mike came by the studio. Uh, they gave me their show, uh, a board mix of their show so that I could, you know, have a reference point and, and learn the material. And I immersed myself in it because it was really five days to learn the show. And I wanted to learn it as close to what Mike was doing 
as possible that for the band and for the fans, it would not feel jarring at all. It would be a smooth transition, except for the fact that there would be this old hairy guy up there instead of this clean, beautiful mic. But, um, so I, I really immersed myself in it and, and learned it. And we did one live rehearsal um, before we left and Mike came by the rehearsal and we hugged and I told him I loved him. And, you know, cause I'd known those guys since long before they formed Toto. I've, I started doing sessions with Lukather when he was 19 years old. So this was really family and, and it became like a, a double-edged sword because on the one hand, I love the band. I've always been a fan of Toto and to be playing with them was, was great. Why I was playing with them sucked. And I would have given anything during the course of it if my phone would have rung and Mike would have said, hey, I'm well, uh, I'm coming back. And I would have said, do you need a bass tech? I'll hang here with you. And, uh, but that was not to be. And, uh, and then a few years ago, we lost Mike to this. And it was just, it was terrible. It was just an awful thing, losing Jeff and then losing Mike. Um, there's been some serious blows to the Picaro family and they're always in my heart. Um, but then I, I, they wanted me to come back and do the next tour, but I was, I think that might've been um, Phil Collins either. Either we picked up with Phil and did some stuff. There was a conflict of some kind um, during that period and I couldn't do the next tour, but they called me for the following tour and it was a different lineup on that one. Uh, the, uh, the wonderful, they had background singers on this one, uh, Jenny Foot uh, and um, Mavuto were the two background singers on the thing. Uh, Shannon Forrest was now the drummer with the group. And I'd known Shannon from, I'd done projects with him in Nashville and uh, he was producing, he produced Michael McDonald's record. And I went out to Shannon's house when I was working in Nashville and played on at least one track. Um, maybe just one, I'm not sure, on Michael's record. Um, that was great. And of course, Lenny Castro, the amazing, remarkable, greatest rock and roll percussionist in the world. I'll tell you, he's, he's something else. Um, but Joe Williams was, was singing with them now. And it, and, it, and it brought David Page back and Steve Picaro and Luke. So it had this, there was a feeling, especially having Page and and Steve Picaro back and Shannon who played much more like Jeff than Simon did not to denigrate Simon because Simon's the one of the most remarkable drummers in the world and he brought his own spin to Toto which was really great at the time because when they lost Jeff kind of the last thing they needed was another Jeff you know everybody be drawing comparisons and all that where Simon just brought what Simon does to the to the table and made it just his, and it was great. And then when he chose to move on and do his own thing with his group, um, then when Shannon came, then it was like another wave of it, and it, it's a lot more Jeff-like in that. And uh, I love playing with him. So uh, it was really a, just a, a great time out there with these guys there maniacs they're crazy and they're beautiful people and they're my best friends um so it was uh quite an experience um i decided to do this song this morning and i just ran it a couple of times and god help us i don't know what's going to happen because it's a, it's a bit of a handful but um i think uh i, I think it was worth if i'm going to do some toto tunes at least maybe start with this one so uh, this is from uh, one of the live shows. This was just a, a YouTube thing because I uh, wanted just to do it with this because this was the way I was used to hearing it with Jenny and Mavuto and this lineup. So um, this is going to be Georgie Porgy. So I hope this helps satisfy some of the guys out there that are shouting, Toto, do some Toto. There will be more, but I'm going to at least pop my cherry here with this one. Okay, here we go. Let's let's get going here. Before you want to dedicate this one to a very special friend of ours and his wonderful band, Earth, Wind, and Fire. This one's for you, Maurice White. God bless. Thank you. 
Close. Close, almost made it. Oh, stop it, stop that. Okay, <laughs> okay, I should have spent a little more time with it, I think, this morning, but uh, but we're off and running with Toto. Um, there's a whole bunch more Toto stuff I'll get to, and some other stuff that I found that I really like, too, that I want to throw out there over the next, uh, over the week, and uh, we'll continue on. But uh, I'm going to check this, and if it sucks too much, I will go back and, and recut it again. Uh, everybody writes me and go, just get some kind of an editing thing going here so you can talk and do your stories and then edit in your performance. But at this point, I'm just still kind of an old pussy about this stuff and I'm just trying to get it. I've, I've always been used to trying to get takes from top to bottom and not punch in too much. And I'm sort of still thinking about this in the same way I think about the recording studio. As, as easy as it is to fix things, I really like top to bottom performances. And uh, hopefully the, uh, the few moments in that won't be too distracting. But, um, okay, so we are off and running on a, on a new week. Waddy had his birthday, and he's, uh, he's four days older than me now. So, yes, yes. By the end of the week, we'll be back in alignment again. So I wish everybody, you know, a great week. Do a... Uh, do your best not to be crazy because, man, some people are getting really stupid out there and causing some potential serious uh, disasters uh, with with this this grotesque, terrible disease that's that's been really just taking the world, uh, you know, in, in a terrible way. So try to be smart about this. Yeah, it's frustrating and hard, but you know, don't don't hurt those around you. Don't hurt yourself and stuff and then i know for the first responders especially like doctors and nurses and all of the the aid workers the last thing they're really wanting to see is all of these people out there going crazy on the streets not no masks huge crowds and all that because ultimately they're all going to end up in those people's hands in the hospitals and they're stretched as thin as they could be at this point so be smart think of them and their needs too so Wish you guys all the very best for today, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to go, I think, a completely different direction tomorrow. I'm going to try to change it up every day. I mean, I've got all kinds of songs I've been looking at. So um, if I'm not playing yet what you want, um, I'll eventually get to it because I'm not going anywhere. Um, as Charlton Heston would say, they're going to have to drag my bass out of my cold, dead fingers. So words to leave you by. So. You take good care, and I will see you tomorrow.